Hello and welcome. In collaboration with Sesame Software, Oracle would like to present to you the Relational Junction Data Management Suite and how you can move data from NetSuite to the Oracle Autonomous Data Warehouse. Before we move on, this is a safe harbor statement that explains our presentation. NetSuite is the leading integrated cloud business software suite. It's the number one cloud ERP business software solution from startup to enterprise. Even though NetSuite provides its own reports, oftentimes customers would like to extract data from NetSuite and load it into a data warehouse. Combining it with other data sources and leveraging the machine learning functionality to create a more sophisticated, cross-functional, and historical report. Today we are going to show you how to move data from NetSuite to Oracle's autonomous data warehouse using Relational Junction, a data integration tool developed by Sesame Software. Here's the flow diagram. First, we need to install Relational Junction software. Inside it, we set up connections to NetSuite and ADW. Then, we can create and run data loading jobs using NetSuite as the source and ADW as the target. Once the job is finished, we will be able to use the Oracle Analytics Cloud to create visualizations using NetSuite data sitting inside of ADW. This is the web browser user interface of Relational Junction. We can go ahead and log in. Once we log in, we can see the entire UI. On the left side, we can change the configuration, update password, check license, and the user manual. It's quite straightforward to create a data pipeline here. First, let's set up the data source connections. Expand the data sources section and click New Data Source. Give it a name and select the junction type. Here, we need to use JDBC driver option for both NetSuite and ADW. Next, we will open this drop-down menu to choose the template type from all the available options here. Take NetSuite for example. Here are all the things we need to type in to create this connection. Username, password, account ID, application ID, and version are mandatory. You can find all the info inside your NetSuite account. Once we fill in all the blanks, we can test this link. Next, for the ADW connection, we can obtain the user OCID from our Oracle a Cloud account and download the ADW's wallet file. Note that we need to put the wallet file on the same server where we install the relational junction. So we can define the file path for the wallet file here. Also, username, password, and schema are all needed. Let's test the connection. Successful. We also need a place for the metadata. Here we choose using an Oracle database. Next, we need to put in the service name, port number, login credentials, and then test. Next, we set up the data pipeline defining the source and the target. Let's expand warehouse option, click the config example. See here, in database connection, select next suite as source data source, select ADW as target data source, and also choose the metadata. Here, a basic pipeline from NetSuite to ADW is ready. We can make detailed configurations on database design select global objects, logging, and notifications. Remember to save it. Next, we need to create a job to actually run a data load using this pipeline. In job section, click new job, give it a name, input a unique scheduled ID.
do all the necessary configurations, like make a repeat with a certain frequency. In job steps, we need to select the right pipeline we want. Here, it's example. Then drag the wanted steps to the right, where we want clone data. And let's save it. From the job monitor, we can see this new job. Click start, the icon changes to running. We can click here to see the runtime log. Right now, it shows all the data sources are connected. And it starts to pull all the tables in NetSuite. The entire process may take one to five hours depending on the data size you have in NetSuite. Once the job is finished, we can check the tables inside ADW. See all these names start with NS, indicating they are NetSuite data. So, overall, Sesame Software's Relational Junction Data Management Suite integrates with Oracle Cloud and combines data warehousing and integration capabilities into one powerful, flexible solution. As we demoed here, it's secure and efficient, works with cloud and on-prem databases, has rapid deployment, can set up everything within minutes, and the pipeline can be fully automated, scalable, fast, easy to use, and cost efficient. Currently, people also can use Oracle Integration Cloud or Oracle Data Integrator to pull data out from NetSuite. Compared with those methods, Relational Junction has two advantages, ease of use and fast transfer rates. As you can see from the demo, in Relational Junction, the configuration is simple and the entire NetSuite dataset can be extracted with just one job. Speed-wise, it's the quickest solution right now, and we can easily set up a daily job to synchronize the data. Once the data is in ADW, we can easily use BI tools to access it and create visualizations. Like here in Oracle Analytics Cloud, we can directly create a connection to ADW and access the NetSuite datasets. Next, we will show you an example demo to demonstrate what we can accomplish once the NetSuite data sits inside ADW. Hi, so first I'm going to give the customer context of this demo that we prepared. So the customer is a hardware distributor, which means that they buy hardware from a manufacturer and then in turn sell it to vendors and also do installation work. So well, first we're going to be looking at the marketing data and how we could drill down into making deep uh, marketing insights and improve business strategies. What you're looking at here on the top left graph is leads by profit which shows uh, what types of uh, marketing leads are most effective in terms of profit gains and the graph to the right being the most effective marketing leads in terms of opportunities gained. So as you can see, the top three in uh, leads by profit is new registration promotion, partner referral, and industry trade show. And that top three is also the same in leads by number of opportunities which is industry trade shows, followed by new registration promotion, followed by partner referral. So if we want to drill down more and look into why these leads are most effective, we definitely can. So if you look at the pie graph on the bottom, you're going to be seeing the companies that were won over by new registration promotion. So taking a look at these companies, uh, they are actually varied in industry, uh, Amsterdam Drugstore, uh, Chess Art Gallery, Gibbons Corporation, these are all widely different industries, which shows that new registration promotion is an effective marketing strategy uh, industry-wide. Now that we have taken a breakdown of our new customers and seen how we acquired these new customers, let's take a look at our regulars. This past fiscal quarter, we made about $639,000. If we take a look at this chart over here, we can see a breakdown of where this profit is by vendor and how much we profited from each of these vendors. If you take a look at the blue bar, that is a representation of the projected total 
input into NetSuite by each of the sales reps. It is a projection of how much these deals were sized up to be when entering these engagements versus the red bar, which is the actual profit weighted after the deal has been won. And as we can see, overall, especially with our highest earning vendors, there was a disparity between the projected total and the actual total for profit. So we definitely need to see why there was this mismatch. And we can take a look at NetStar Inc., which was supposed to be our projected highest earning vendor. If we take a look, we can see on average, each of our customers spend about $37 per day, whereas NetStar Inc. far exceeded that in this past quarter with $184 per day, which means they are still one of our best customers. And although there might be an industry problem occurring for each of these companies, it is more likely that there is a problem within our own company. And that is exemplified by the fact that we missed about a fourth of our deals and deadlines this past quarter. And only one, as you can see, one sales rep met their quota this past quarter. So although we can see our top earning sales reps and how much they brought in, we know that there was a problem within our own company and we can talk to our employees and our managers to figure out what exactly happened and fix it right away so that we don't have this problem again in the future. So by looking at the financial info of a company, we could really look into its overall health. And we do this by creating some very simple but effective metrics. If you look into the graph at the top left, you could look at the operating expense ratio, which is a ratio of operating expense divided by the gross profit. So by looking at this, you see what percentage of our gross profit is going to operating expenses. So this is the our companies, which is running at a 30% operating expense ratio, followed by the industry average of 35%. This looks really good because it shows that our company is um, running at a more efficient pace than the industry, which is a sign of a competitive advantage that we have. If we look into the asset ratio or ratio assets, we see that 52% of uh, the company's assets are in cash, followed by 32% in property, plan, and equipment, followed by 11% in inventory, and 5% in long-term investments. This 52% cash ratio is very important when we look into the liabilities versus assets uh, pie chart. If you look here, it shows that 40, over 40% 40 of uh, our current assets are in short-term liabilities, which are liabilities that we have to pay within the next year. This is a uh, metric that we're comfortable with because we're most likely to pay off these liabilities within the next year, looking at our 52% cash uh, ratio. Furthermore, there are about 13% in long-term liabilities, which are payable over the, uh, beyond the next year. So looking at this metric, we could see that we're going to turn our capital into a more uh, asset-based ownership, which is uh, a very good look into the long run because it shows that we could invest more capital into growing the business. If you look at the, this number of $6,889, it shows the key, uh, free cash flow, which is money after all expenses has been paid. And although it seems like a low number, if we have a good uh, future stock to look into and uh, further invest the company, and there's no doubt that these growth trends will go up for the next uh, fiscal year. And so you can see that our company is growing and doing well. Even though there are pains at the moment, we can fix those with these visualizations that we've created. And through the use of NetSuite connecting with Sesame to ADW, we can use Oracle's OAC to create a better business plan and create a better future. Thank you. We have demonstrated the Sesame Software's Relational Junction Data Management Suite. Right now, it can be purchased directly on the Oracle Cloud Marketplace as a pre-built image. Sesame Software was recognized 
for bringing groundbreaking solutions to Oracle Cloud. To learn more about Sesame, visit us at www.sesamesoftware.com. You can also contact us through phone and email. Thank you.